inside yourself. Hey guys, it's your girl Valerie Ortiz here and you're watching American Latino TV celebrating American Latino pride. And today we have a collection of stories about getting out of your comfort zone because Sometimes it's not just the best way, but the only way to accomplish your goals. And we kick things off with an athlete who left behind her sport while she was at the top of her game. Mexican golfer Lorena Ochoa is easily regarded as the best Mexican golfer of all time, regardless of gender. She has even been compared to Tiger Woods. Before Lorena was done playing, she racked up 27 LPGA wins and was ranked number one among female golfers for three years straight, right up to her abrupt retirement in 2010. So why did she leave the game behind? Well, the golfer turned author tells all in her new book and her revelations about life and success are anything but par for the course. Enjoy. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. Considered the best and most internationally accomplished Mexican athlete of all time, Lorena Ochoa shocked the sports world when she decided to leave it all at the height of her career. But as she explains in her latest tell-all book, this was all part of the plan. I told myself I would play professional for uh, no more than 10 years, you know. I will play those 10 years as my priority and, you know, all the effort and be there and practicing, you know, as hard as I needed to. But then also I made plans after golf. I think you have to be prepared, you have to be ready for the things you like to do, you know, and, and uh, that's why it was easy to make the decision. That's why it was a, a happy decision because I decided to do it at the right time. But what seemed like a premature retirement for some was actually the end of a long road for Lorena, who got her professional start in golf very early in her life. I was uh, very young when I started uh, competing. I was six years old when I played my first state tournament, and I was eight when I played my first international tournament. I came to, to San Diego, California, and uh, I was able to play the Junior World Championship, and I won uh, representing Mexico. So I think the competition really motivates me. I grew up in Mexico being the only girl and, and, uh, and playing golf, that it was not a very popular sport, and then playing with boys, you know, later, and then going to college, all the sacrifices you have to make, you know, to live in a different country. And uh, when I turned professional, you know, the pressure, all the years I played, uh, not only here in the States, but in different parts of the world, my favorite thing was to represent Mexico. Nothing is easy, you know, and for sure I went through really uh, hard uh, times and bad experiences and a lot of failures and I, I was afraid. It was very difficult to achieve, uh, you know, my goal and, and to get to the top, to be number one in the world, but uh, for sure it's, it's part of the ride and that's why in this book, you know, I, I, I tell my experiences inside and outside the golf course. I made the, made the best decision at the best time now. And I have so many activities outside the golf course. You know, I have a foundation in Mexico, a foundation in the States. We have kids from first grade to 12th grade. It's a very fun way of education with a lot of activities outside the classroom. To hopefully, you know, be inspired and for them to teach them that, that there is no limit for the dreams. You know, you can dream as high as you want and how just a normal, you know, regular girl uh, from a normal family decided to fight, you know, and to dream big, work really hard, you know, to achieve them.